Welcome to Tech Brothers Dominic. In this video, we are going to learn how to find the unattached or attached disk and uh, NIX uh, in the Azure subscription by using Azure Resource Graph Explorer. So this can be very helpful uh, because uh, one sometime uh, let's, let's say you have a VM and VM is uh, dropped and then uh, those uh, unattached disks are sitting there uh, and uh, that's the same case uh, can happen for your NIX. Uh, uh, in those cases uh, where uh, you need to find that information, uh, first of all uh, what you will do, you will open your uh, Azure portal and then uh, you will open the query here. So let me take you to the home first uh, and uh, then we'll go to the any resource group uh, and uh, then we can uh, initiate uh, our resource uh, graph explorer. Once you do that, uh, we can uh, write the query to find different resources. Um, here I have the queries written already and I'm going to use that. So uh, I will put this information in the description so you can use it. Um, so right here, uh, if uh, we copy this first uh, query and we want to get all the disks, uh, uh, it's going to give, give us those. Um, see right there, we are saying get me data from the resources table right there. And then uh, where uh, is uh, Microsoft uh, dot compute disks. Uh, so we are looking for all the disks uh, in this uh, resource group or, or directory here. You can further go in detail and uh, change your scope here. Now I have the where clause if I would like to get uh, only the disks which are unattached and in my case uh, actually I don't have them because uh, I have two VMs one is uh, my Windows VM and other one is my Linux and uh, I have not deleted anything like that. So they are all both and active so it's not going to return you data and here is a project uh, at the end uh, that means uh, return me these list of uh, columns uh, and here from the properties uh, I'm uh, looking for the disk state uh, column as well. Uh. So um, if I execute this query and uh, run this query, it's not going to return anything. As I said that we have this where clause that I don't need to use right now because I do not have any unattached disks. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, execute query. I commented this out. Uh, so this is how you comment out uh, the uh, in the Kusto query. And now you can see that uh, the query returned me this information. It returned me the name of the disk. Uh, it returned me the resource group uh, and uh, then it uh, returned me the name here as well. You can go further in detail by clicking here and uh, you can see right there uh, the disk uh, and uh, it is uh, the property saying it is attached. Uh, if I would like to see all the disks which are unattached, as I said that you can you know, filter them, but right now I don't have them. Uh, so whatever the disk attached, unattached, uh, you can uh, uh, filter by using where clause here. Let's go to the second query where we would like to get the list of the our network cards. So I'm going to use the same uh, table resources, but I'm going to filter for network interfaces. So let me take you right there. I'm going to open a new query and then paste my query. Again, uh, if you see that uh, I am looking uh, in this where class, I'm trying to filter uh, the uh, network interfaces uh, which has uh, not been used by uh, private uh, endpoints and uh, they're also not attached to the uh, virtual machines. Um, so in my case, uh, they, that's not going to be true. So I have to comment this out. Uh, so because I don't have any orphan uh, NICs, uh, I have uh, two VMs and then uh, those uh, uh, NICs are active. Uh, so they are not... Uh, um, they're used by the virtual machines. So, so see right there, that's my uh, NIC card name here. And uh, then uh, you have resource group, you have VM. Uh, that's actually your NIC card as well uh, again. Uh, and uh, then uh, you can click right there. It is uh, going to, if you click right there, it's going to get you to the, uh, your uh, network interface information. And then uh, it, it, you can see it is attached to which uh, VM. Uh, so you can click right there and see that. Um, so this is the VM for which uh, this uh, network card was uh, attached. Uh, and uh, as I said that, uh, you, that's the network interface card uh, number right there. Okay, and you can say, see that is is attached. In my, if uh, uh, later on somehow this got deleted, let's say if I will go ahead and delete my VM, then uh, this uh, network interface card will be still sitting there as an orphan. And uh, in that case, uh, I will write my query, and uh, then uh, I can use uh, uh, to get the information uh, accordingly. So that's what you will do. Let me close this. We can go back by closing it. And here, in case, as I said that, if uh, 
you want to check all those uh, net network interfaces which are not used by any machine or they're not also used in the private endpoints so then you will, can enable these uh, filters and then it will give you only orphan uh, NICs uh, which are standing there not used by the virtual machine and private endpoints so, so I will put both queries in the description so you can use it and uh, uh, they might be helpful for you also I have this link that I, I was uh, I'm uh, going through from the Microsoft, uh, like how to find the unattached disk from the portal, and then uh, you can delete it from the portal as well. So that will helpful as well. I will put in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.